What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. So I am just hyped through the roof, guys. Dying Like the Beast is real, actually. There was a teaser the other day and stuff that showed this woman and this guy, actually. This guy, I think he was, like, recording. This woman was, like, they look like they're out on some sort of honeymoon or whatever, whatever, whatever it was or something. And, um, and it... It looked like she was getting taken away by some sort of thing, and I thought it was more of something that was more supernatural looking, but it actually turned out, I think it was actually Dying Like the Beast, actually, which I am actually pretty hyped for, actually. But, um, yeah, they just released a, a teaser reveal trailer. I, would, I wouldn't really say it's a teaser, because the other one was a teaser. This one is actually a reveal, an in-game engine reveal trailer, which I'm excited to actually take a look at for the first time ever um, for you guys here. So anyways, guys, um, let's do it. Let's take a look at Dying Light the Beast. The tracks lead this way. Looks like a, if that's a military group, that could potentially be the GRE, right? It might be the GRE. It's giving me Modern Warfare vibes right now. It looks, it doesn't even look like Dying Light 2. Stay here, stand guard. It's giving me Modern Warfare vibes because the, the, uh, they sound British a little bit. Wow. Yeah, they are British. Oh yeah, it's the it's the remix of Dying Light One's theme. Probably Kyle Crane is the beast. It's Kyle Crane! My gosh. Is that Roger Craig Smith re reprising his role as Kyle Crane or is that a new actor? I can't. It's really hard to tell, honestly. Where's Aiden? Do we even see Aiden Caldwell? I wonder if that was Aiden, the uh, bald guy. I don't know if that is or not. Oh, I can drive vehicles? Yep. So it's just like the following. Big Demolisher, Dying Like the Beast, Wishless Now. Okay. All right, that was actually pretty cool. I definitely got to admit, I, <laughs> I liked that and stuff, actually. I don't, where it is and stuff, this could be a um, standalone expansion, similar to the likes of, you know, for example, games like the Far Cry, uh, Far Cry franchise, for example. Far Cry New Dawn, um, is an expansion, a standalone expansion to Far Cry 5, if you guys remember that. And there was, I think Far Cry Primal was also an expansion to, uh, uh, Far Cry 4 as well. Um, think of also, uh, what's that, uh, there's some, there's other games I'm trying to think of as well too, but I did talk about this in one of my other videos and stuff too. Um, Dead Rising 2 off the record is like an expansion to Dead Rising uh, 2, the original. So kind of think of it as that. But the difference is though, Dead Rising 2 off the record was its own, the original Dead Rising 2 game changed up a little bit, the same game pretty much, you know, if, if you know what I mean and stuff, but like, but yeah, this Dying Light the Beast could be um, like the following on steroids and it could probably be, uh, um, you know, I think it might be its own game. Who knows, we might not even need Dying Light 2 to get this game. We probably might be buying it with its own separate uh, physical copy edition or buying it off the PlayStation Store uh, as its own separate application. But we don't know yet. All we know is just, it's just called Dying Light the Beast. It's not called Dying Light 2 the Beast or Dying Light 3. I don't think this is Dying Light 3. I think it's just a major expansion spinoff within the Dying Light uh, 2, probably, I think, because it looks a lot like Dying Light 2 in a way still, too. Like, it it still has the same graphics as Dying Light 2, so, um, yeah, that's what I think it is. I think it's just a standalone expansion. That's my prediction. I don't think it's, um, it's gonna be 
put together into Dying Light 2. I could be wrong, and maybe it could. Maybe Techland could launch some sort of thing that's similar to Call of Duty, but this is a bit controversy, controversial and stuff. I know people don't like the Call of Duty HQ, but what if they, they're able to actually like make this new thing where they have like a Dying Light HQ where you can launch up Dying Light the Beast um, while launching up Dying Light 2, so it feels like it's an interconnected application or something, but who knows actually what will be happening, guys. Um, I think it'll probably come out next year. I don't think it's coming out this year. I think we're waiting at least till next year, possibly the third anniversary of Dying Light uh, 2, or perhaps maybe a little bit later, because this has been in development for a long time, Dying Light the Beast, and uh, this Dying Light the Beast... Um, it, it could just be, uh, like I said, it could be just be its own game or something, because maybe what if Teclan were having, you know, issues and stuff or something? What if they, uh, you know, didn't want to actually put it a part of, uh, Dying Light 2's main application or something, and they're like, you know, this is bigger than a big, like, DLC or expansion, let's make it into its own, you know, standalone expansion slash spinoff game, but... That's all I gotta say for now, and if you're a, a Dying Light fan, consider dropping a like on this uh, video, and also, if you're a Dying Light fan, consider subscribing to the channel, and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zonfected Gaming 349 over and out. Rally!